Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So you've got the consciousness card coming in over here. So this is about getting new insights and new understanding about what is going on around you. Uh, you might be going through quite a difficult period or you might be even facing some kind of legal battle because this is the card, um, you know, it, it swords uh, within this and this is the... Um, the ace, really, and this is about a breakthrough coming in for you. Um, it could be a breakthrough as far as a legal uh, battle that you've been facing or even just a, a clear understanding about what is going on. So some kind of aha moment. And it's also about sorting through, uh, you know, a difficult circumstance um, and being victorious in it. You've got the third eye being activated over here. So you are really seeing things in a very brand new light over there and coming up with a new strategy as well. So you've been very focused on something. You've been putting all your energy and effort into it. You might have even been doing some traveling recently because this is the night of uh, rods. But this is about putting all that effort and energy uh, and trying to focus uh, your attention on it. Now, uh, you've got abundance coming in over there. Uh, so this is about, uh, you know, if you've been focused on your work um, or even focused on getting yourself a promotion, it looks like that is coming in for you here. In the past, you've got the silence card over there, feeling a little depressed about things, a bit confused, uh, and not having clarity. And then you've got that uh, consciousness card coming in. So clarity has come to you, but you have been quite um, confused about something. You've got the slowing down card over here. So this is the Knight of Pentacles. So you've been really, you know, just focusing on that work and just taking it very, very easy. It seems like, uh, you know, uh, you've been working pretty hard and things haven't been moving quickly enough for you uh, and you've needed to actually be very thorough about what you're doing um, but it seems like you know you are on the right path with the um, knight of pentacles it is working pretty hard but uh, success coming in eventually for you now you've got the, and there you go you've got that abundance card so whatever you've been working on it looks like it is going to have is going to pay off. So whatever project you have worked on or whatever you've been working on uh, is going to bring uh, in uh, the rewards. You've got the comparison card over here. So uh, this is about dealing with people uh, maybe who compare you to other people. Um, you know, this is the Five of Swords. So very difficult people that you're dealing with, maybe a, a bit uh, nasty, um, and also maybe going through a lot of conflict at this particular moment. So just watch out for that. And then there's a choice that you will have to make soon with the Lovers card over there. So choosing something, but make sure you do your research before you actually jump into things. Consider all the facts very carefully before you make any big decisions. So that coming in for the next week. So this is the Anna K Tarot for the main read. So you've got the chariots. It looks like you are going to be traveling soon here with the chariot card. You're very determined to get that project sorted out. But it looks like, you know, you're going to maybe be moving home or you could be even just taking a trip. Um, this is a card ruled by cancer. <coughs> maybe even getting away from any kind of uh, difficulties that are going on in the home life as well with the chariot card. But it looks like there's some kind of travel. And there's a victory with this particular card. You can see they're moving towards the sun. You might be traveling for work because you've got the sun card over there. The sun always implies, you know, working um, and you being in charge. You can see this man's got the whip in his hand. So you are going to be somebody who's going to be in charge of whatever project it is. And But it might also involve some kind of travel or moving away to go and do that particular job. Now, you've got the Four of Rods and the Knight of Cups. There's an offer coming in over there with that Knight of Cups. And it's a very nice offer. Now, the Knight of Cups is your card. Uh, so it looks like maybe you're making an offer to somebody or an offer is coming in for you. It looks like you might be, uh, there might be some offer coming in for you. And it's going to be uh, involving travel and working with a lot of people. Maybe you're going to be working with a lot of people, uh, foreign people, or traveling, doing a lot of travel as well with this particular card. But working on some kind of collective project, collaborating with a lot of people. 
you have been trying to manifest this job with the magician card over here, so taking control, and you know, you've been uh, using all your skills and talents. You've been pretty busy actually with this magician card over here. It looks like uh, you know, you've also cut out things from the past, uh, made a decision, and you're moving on. So, you've uh, severed ties with people from your past, and it looks like you know, you're moving on on your journey with that death card over there. And here you can see with the Three of Swords even cutting out relationships that were no longer serving you. Uh, you made that decision. There could have been a legal decision that came that made you, um, you know, cut ties with this person because you've got that death card above it. You're still thinking about it. You haven't gotten over it yet, but you have walked away from that particular person. They're still on your mind, though, but it looks like you have made up your mind and you're walking away. And it looks like you may be flying away from uh, this uh, situation as well because you've got the chariot and it's showing air travel as well. Now, you've got the two of pentacles over here, so you've got some options available for you as far as your work goes. So there might be this job offer that comes in here looks like more like a work offer rather than a love offer uh, and it looks like you know you're going to have to weigh all your options you're also uh, juggling money a little bit here um, you've got a lot of people that admire your skills uh, and they think you're pretty good at it so it looks like you know you're going to you might be going for some interviews as well and people assessing your skill set as well and they're quite impressed with whatever it is you have to offer um, but this is also a need for you to actually you know um, do a financial assessment and make sure that you're, uh, you know, watching things. You might be even working two jobs or two projects at this particular moment. But you seem to have everything under control because a lot of people are, you know, admiring you quite a bit there. Now you've got the King of Cups over here, and this again is your card, so you might be even doing some studying or learning or even doing some research right now with that King of Cups. Uh, if you have any medical problems, I always say with the King of Cups, make sure that you get it sorted out as soon as possible. Don't let it escalate to anything else. This man's got a book in his hand here, and this is about study, research, and it's you know facing the past, so it's about research coming in for you. You might even be taking on the role as a teacher or mentor, that is what you might be doing soon. You've got the Ace of Swords, so this is facing the future and this is about brand new beginnings. If you're facing any legal decisions, it looks like you know you are going to be victorious in it. So uh, this is having new insights, new strategies on how to cope with things. So if you're juggling things a little bit or if you know things are a bit up in the air, uh, it's nice for you to sit down and have a good think about things and have a new clarity or new uh, come up with a new strategy really about how to deal with things. If you're facing legal battles, I say, like I said, you've got the sun in that card, so it's going to be, uh, you know, in, go in your favor. You've got the queen of swords over here in your hopes and fears, so you are standing up for yourself, you are defending yourself, and you are being very independent and very determined to get things done. Uh, you know, it looks like, you know, whatever, if you're facing any legal situations, it looks like, you know, you are determined to win as well. You might be feeling a bit lonely and isolated, though. Uh, you've got this a woman standing in the middle of snow so you know you have um you know gone through a lot um the queen of swords usually you know she's somebody who has been through a lot of problems and she's now managing to get her power back but she has cut everybody else out of her life because uh you know she can't really deal with emotional um upheavals anymore she's had enough of it so maybe that's what you're going through at the moment you have decided to focus on work and you know not really get emotionally involved with anybody else but it is making you feel rather isolated and rather lonely You've got the ace of rods over there the knight of rods and the lovers card over here so there is a new project or a new something coming back uh, for you in the work front going to have to take that chance, take that risk with that Ace of Rods, and it looks like it's going to be you moving on, uh, you know, traveling off. With the Knight of Rods, it's usually about moving um, or getting a new job somewhere else, moving on with it, and it looks like messages are coming in for you over there uh, with that Knight of Rods. So something coming in that's going to involve some travel for you and starting a brand new project. You're going to have to take that risk, uh, take a chance and do it, um, you know. Um, it might throw you a little bit off balance, but it looks like, you know, this news is coming in for this new job, and it looks like there is going to be travel. Now, there's a lot of cards for travel over here, and starting a job somewhere else, making a fresh start somewhere else. Uh, you've got that chariot card over here, that knight of rods is making a fresh start somewhere else. You've got that ace of rods making a fresh start somewhere else. So it looks like you're going to be moving on and starting a job somewhere else. And you've got the lovers card, so you've got to make a decision about whether you want to stay where you are at, 
uh, or you want to move forward. Um, so you're going to have to weigh your options very, very carefully. Make sure you are doing your research. You can see with that King of Cups doing your research very thoroughly in order for you to make that breakthrough. And even with that Ace of Swords, it's even signing new contracts. So there looks like some brand new beginning starting for you on the work front, and you're going to have to make some kind of decision. Leave the past behind and move on. And you'll be working with a lot of people. It looks like it'll be something very, very um, interesting. And, you know, uh, you're going to be maybe even in charge of uh, a lot of people as well in this particular job. I'm just drawing some cards from the Angel Tarot. And you've got the Magician over here, so manifesting. Uh, you are ready. You have the resources and the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. So things are coming into your uh, arena right now. Uh, with the Magician, it's about you know doing a lot of mental work, a lot of communication, but also travel. Uh, so that is coming in for you over here. And you have all the skills you need uh, or required off you in this job, you have it. So you have a lot of people that are going to be admiring your skills as well. You can see them admiring this man doing the juggling there. You've got the Ace of Fire, so an exciting new opportunity, career advancement, change your life now. So that Ace of Fire is the Ace of Rods, so something brand new beginning. And the uh, Rods card's always about travel or communicating on an international or global scale. So it looks like you are beginning a brand new project here that's coming in for you. And with the Six of Air moving away from all those difficult situations, this is the Six of Swords, things are looking up the end of a difficult situation and taking a trip. So it looks like there's a lot of travel for you and you're going to leave behind uh, you know, all the people that were giving you a lot of grief and moving away into karma situations. So leaving behind the old, starting something brand new over there. And you know, with a magician, it's also a fresh start, but also being very, very busy and doing a lot of communication. So it looks like you're moving on. Uh, a new offer coming in for you, a job, job offer coming in for you. That's going to mean that you leave uh, wherever you are at and moving on or changing your circumstances. And you will have to, you are facing a decision at this particular time. So you will have to make sure that you research it very carefully. You might be even taking on that role as a mentor or a teacher or somebody who trains people up as well. But you'll definitely be collaborating with a lot of people. So I hope this reading has resonated for you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.